Hey guys and welcome into another video. Today we're going to be going over predicting the biggest NFL trades of the 2021 offseason by Chris Rowling. Uh, just a little quick video to kind of go through, just kind of talk more about NFL. Uh, we do know that obviously Christmas is coming up, so obviously for, first off, happy holidays. But we do know that is when the mock drafts are going to be starting. So look out for on Christmas Day, the first official mock draft coming out from me to you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Those are usually pretty good videos. It's when the channel starts to see a lot more activity going on as well. So I hope that you guys do enjoy those as well. But for now, we're going to be predicting the biggest NFL trades and just kind of going over them, seeing if, like how realistic they are, if they're... Uh, good trades, bad trades, etc. Just kind of going over them. Trades are really hard to go through and predict. So I, I respect everybody that puts out any you know predictions or mock trades or anything because it is something that's very hard to do. So um, I'm never gonna roast somebody for them. I just might not agree with them. So um, by Chris Rowling, this just came out yesterday. So let's get right into it here, man. It's just you know uh, NFL trade ideas were too outlandish. Blah, blah blah blah. But yeah, first one: Eagles send Zach Ertz to the Steelers. Now I'm already intrigued. Um, Zach Ertz just does not fit in with the Steelers, um, with, not the Steelers, with the Eagles. He just hasn't, um, I don't know, obviously the injuries and stuff like that, but they've had Goddard kind of holding him back since uh, they've got him. Goddard's obviously good enough to be the lead tight end. Ertz really hadn't had that good of a year even before the injury, um, and he's expendable, man. You really don't have to pay him. I think it's just worth, you know, just let him go, appreciating him for his time here and just kind of moving on to Dallas Goddard. So, um, do they have a mock? Act? They don't have the actual trade. Okay, I was hoping they had actual trades to do, but they're just saying um, sending them places. So, um, 30 years old. Yeah, he's still got some time left in the NFL, definitely. I just, yeah, Dallas Goddard's definitely the guy that you need to have. For the Steelers' standpoint, I mean, Eric Ebron is a really good tight end. Um, they have Vance McDonald, so it would be a little bit of a crowded room. I think Ebron might be on a one year deal, though. Um, but if you kept Ebron be that tight end machine, have Ertz kind of compliment him, I think you have a good setup there. McDonald you could probably even keep as well. It's just McDonald's getting a pretty good uh, paycheck from them as well. So I don't know how much you'd want to spend on that position, but as many weapons as you can. We don't know how much Ben has left in him, if this is his last season or anything. So um, just being able to see what he can keep doing, um, giving him more weapons is always going to help out that offense. Is that uh, you know, Steelers are a really good team. We all know that. So we'll see from there. Cowboys send Zeke Elliott to the Jets. Okay. All right, see that. <laughs> I was I was not ready for that one, man. Um, okay, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Sorry, but I <laughs> I was not okay. Cowboys are in a hole financially after a series of bad decisions. I agree. I've said this before. They paid Zeke early. They paid um, a lot of you early. They let Byron Jones um, go, which yeah. It, it, it's it's a bad thing so let's see um he's had his worst year promising backup has had a really good yeah i like pollard a lot if you want to unload him a team like the jets would make sense the winless jets have the most projected cap space use the number one pick on trevor lawrence they could send a second rounder to the cowboys for elliot who then could see if you're moving elliot elliot's a first round pick there's no way you're getting him for anything less a first and probably a, a, a third future third or something like that um you're yeah you're you're not getting rid of him for first so Here's what I think. If, if this was a real thing, if, if the Cowboys really were trying to get rid of Zeke, I think the Jets are a good spot, right? I really do. I think the Jets are a good spot for him to be in. I don't think that's a bad option. Now, the problem with that is Zeke got paid because he's a franchise cornerstone. Now, he hasn't had a good year this year, but with Andy Dalton and, you know, Ben DiNucci, and, you know, it's just it, the, the team hasn't had a good enough offense to muster anything except rushing towards Zeke because you know that Zeke is going to be a workhorse. Um, he's gotten progressively worse. His best year has still been his rookie year, um, which, you know, stinks. But Zeke, Zeke is the Cowboys, man. You cannot have the Cowboys without Zeke. Um, and if you get rid of Zeke, you might as well get rid of Dak. You might as well just restart the whole thing. And I don't think you really needed to do that. I think Zeke's a cornerstone piece. He is making a lot of money. Um, but he is well worth the money when fully healthy. The team was playing great when Dak and him were playing. Um, so I, I think that I think that there's no reason for him to, to ship him, basically, is what I'll say. Um, Lions send Matt Stafford to the Niners. I like this one. I think the Lions are in a spot where they should be rebuilding and getting, getting quarterback for the future. Um, there's a lot of good quarterbacks coming in, but his his you know he does have a lot of money to pay him. I think Stafford's still a beast. Don't get me wrong. I really do like Stafford, but he's been in trade rooms for a while. The Niners, you know, it, it doesn't seem like Garoppolo is going to be there for much longer. So if the Niners want to keep competing right now, you might as well go get a guy like Stafford because Stafford could lead you to to win some wins. I really do think so. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you would do with Garoppolo's contract at that point. I don't know what you would do in that sense. But 
you you are getting a quarterback that can help you lead this team because this team this Niners team is still in win now mode even as the division gets way better and better every year um, they're still in win now mode where the Lions can afford to kind of rebuild and stuff so I, I like this one I don't, I don't think it's a bad I think there's some some value to it um, then we go over to Jets and Sam Darnold to the Washington football team amazing I think this is a very good a very good uh, move for them to do uh, because what it does for the for the Washington football team is you could either play Darnold or you can keep Alex Smith playing um, you still have Darnold on a rookie deal so while Alex Smith's contract is huge you're playing a guy who's on a rookie deal he's a lot better than what you have in Haskins so you can trust him to go out there and actually play um, barring Haskins go out some balls against Seattle or something but um, He's got talent, you know, definitely. This offense is already kind of showing flashes, you know. Um, Sims has been a, a very good um, find. Cam Sims has been a really good find is what I'm saying. Uh, Terry McLaurin is obviously a monster. Uh, Logan Thomas has been one of the better tight ends in the league this year. Antonio Gibson has been one of the better running backs in the NFL this year. Offensive line has been decent. Definitely needs some help, but has been decent. Um, so if you get a guy like Darnold, who has at least some weapons around him on offense, I think he'll play a lot better than what he's doing in, in New York right now. So to send him to Washington, let him be the new leader of the football team, or if they change their name, whatever. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think, I think it's 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 hard because what's Darnold's price? Because he is he's still got talent. The Jets are ruining him, so he could be a lot better. So what would you have to pay for him? Because I don't know, man. I don't know what his price would be. I think that that's the hard part of, of balancing it. Um, and what would you be willing to give up for Darnold? Because this could be your franchise quarterback. You could unlock that potential that he had coming out of USC. Or he could just be what we've already seen. You're just having a slightly better Haskins. And you're just kind of, you know, putting a, putting some duct tape on the on the hole, waiting for the water to shoot out again. It's just, I, I don't know how good it's going to be. I think that it is a very good spot. I'd rather them go after a veteran quarterback, keep Alex Smith, or trade for somebody than draft a quarterback. That's I think that drafting a quarterback for Washington is just the wrong move because they're in, they're in a win now mode. Them and the Giants are the new heads of the divisions right now. And I don't know if that title is going to get lost. So I think it's good to keep them afloat. I really do. And then the last trade idea is Carson Wentz to the Colts. I like this. Um, Wentz should get out of there because Hurts is the future. Um, definitely should. So I think that they, sh they should have never paid him. I, I said it from the start. It was a stupid time to pay him. You paid him way early coming off of an injury. Um, and you paid him for so long with so much money. Like it was just, it just did not make sense. And Wentz isn't a bad quarterback at all. But he definitely needs a change of scenery. The Eagles definitely need to move on to Hurts. You cannot have Hurts ball out like he has been, beating the Saints, and go back to Wentz this next season. I just don't see it happening. Yes, Wentz has been a scapegoat for you know an injured offensive line. Miles Sanders has been out. Alshon's been out. Hurts has been out. Goddard's been out. I get it, man. It's it sucks, but Hurts is the future, man. Hurts comes out there and he has the same thing that Wentz has, and he's balling out. So I personally think that it might be time for Wentz to go as well. Um, and going to the Colts, he's going to have some weapons out there. They have Pittman and Hilton, obviously. Um, plethora of tight ends. A uh, lot of good running backs as well. Frank Reich's a good coach. Uh, I think that they definitely have a solid team where he could be right back to being a playoff quarterback next year because um, the Colts are that good. So I don't I don't dislike this one at all. It's just a matter of what would you pay for a guy like Wentz. I don't know if he says in here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wentz is still 27 years old. Shipping the Eagles a mid-round draft pick in exchange for Wentz. I mean, yeah, if you if they're willing to take like a third for Wentz because of how big his contract is, as a Colts, I'm I'm taking that man. And we know the Colts know how to do business, man. They really do. So, um, yeah, not a bad article. I like the trades. The Zeke one threw me off a lot, um, but not a bad one. So thanks, Chris Rowling, there for for that. Uh, a little short video, nothing too crazy. So I hope you guys did enjoy, or at least were you might have seen something. Maybe you guys have your reaction. So let me know in the comment section below as well. If you guys are excited for that Christmas upload and you don't want to miss it, make sure to turn those notification bells on as it's going to let you know exactly when I upload those videos. And get ready for a lot of mock drafts, man. Let me know your teams in the comment section below because I always start off with the top teams. But um, if you guys want your team to be put, I, you know, I, I'm not opposed to moving them up for the seven round mock draft. So that's probably going to come out uh, when jo when January comes. I'll probably start doing some round mock drafts. But for now, look forward to that Christmas mock draft. That's going to be fun. Um, big weekend for football this week. I have my fantasy football championship. I'm in the championship right now. Shout out Griffin if you're seeing this. Um, good luck to you on Sunday. But it's going to be a fun weekend. So if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. If you didn't, just refresh the page. Check it out again. Let me know what you think a second time. Without further ado, that's going to be for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.